What's up, you guys? Tamer here, checking in from Taijung, the home studio at uh, my new space here. I'm super grateful to be able to be in Taiwan, number one, but two, to be able to now uh, give some fun and uh, kind of physical, active uh, videos to my family and my friends, especially my kids who have nothing to do right now due to the times. So anyway, uh, we're just gonna go through a few first. Get your get your uh, your 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 equipment ready. Okay. So the first thing you need is get a yoga mat, some sort of mat, or something that you would like to move on. Okay. So you have your mat. Uh, the other thing that you would want to have for this exercise, if you have available to you, not not required, but if you do have a, a Harrison hammock. Hammock is going to be one of our tools that we use. Uh, a few of the things to share in terms of just getting yourself prepared for the exercises. Number one, make sure you are in something comfortable, something light, something that feels good, and put down your screens. You know who you are. Save the TikTok dancing for later. Save the Snapchats for later. Talking to you, QQ and Tyler, we can watch ball highlights after we do some exercise. I love you guys. Okay, from the top, step to the front of your mat, bring yourself into a grounding position. Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, and we're gonna start with a few breaths. Breathe into your belly, through your nose. Breathe out, from your mouth. Good, do it 10 times. Breathe in, and out. In, out. Oxygen into the blood, in, out. Five, Four, three, two, one. Good. That's one. And you're there. Okay. For those of my friends without hammocks, the first thing we want to do is go for a few squats. Start by getting your feet to about hips width apart. Find yourself on your mat. You relax your shoulders, chest up, collarbones wide, and back straight. Hands to come in, and we're just going down. And squeeze your people. Squeeze your bum as you come up. And three, good, two, you can move your arms, there are many different ways you can do this to make it harder, bring your arms forward, and then down, up, and down, or up as you go down, there's about a bazillion ways we can squat, how about the easiest one, just bring your hands to your heart and go three, come on, two, come on, one, okay good, now that we've done some squatting, let's go to lunge, so bring your feet together to the top of your mat, and step back, coming into a lunge. Lift your toe under, just a little stretch here. Active stretch, you're just gonna pull us up one. Exhale as you do, two, three, all the way to 10. Four, six, seven. If this is difficult or uncomfortable on your knee, use, fold the mat over or use a, a cushion. Nine. 10, good. Transitioning through your downward facing dog. Good, and other side. Low lunge, so hit, you want to find knee. That's right, you're going to open your ankle to the front like it's flat. <coughs> Hips are square, and you're posting one, two. Make sure that it's comfortable and not causing any uh, discomfort with the knee that's on the ground. So if there's too much knee flexion, you can use a mat uh, or a cushion or something that you can put underneath your knee. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, okay, good lunges. Now, from here, step back forward, bring yourself to the front of your mat, and fold your body forward, so reach for your toes. Just reach and give a stretch now for your hamstrings. This is just part of the warm up. You can grab your ankles and fold further by pulling your face closer towards your toes. Do your best to keep your low back Lengthening forward and breathing for three, two, and one. Okay, roll up through your spine. Roll up through your spine. Reach your arms overhead. Breathe in. Inhale. Bring your hands to your heart. Exhale before going on. Set an intention. Every one of our team, your health, team, your body exercises have mind-body connection. So... Before we do anything else, just bring your hands into your heart and get clear in your intention. 
We need to get a little stronger today. Do some physical activity. Breathe into your heart. Breathe out. Get your focus right for our exercise. Why are you doing this? Why are you watching? And what is your intention? That way we keep the body and mind connected throughout the exercises. Good. Breathe in. And breathe out. All right. Come here. Shake, shake, shake your hands. Terrific. Okay. First thing we're going to learn is some spinal twisting. So step your feet a little bit wider so you have a wide stance on your mat. Good. From here, <clears throat> lean your chest down. So hinge at your hips, leaning your chest down. Good, and that's it. Lengthen the spine and the, and the head forward, and then reach your arms down and change from side to side. So with your arms up, do this a few times. And down, using your arms up, and down. Now reach yourself over, reach your right arm to your left leg. So reach yourself over to one side, and reach up. Good. We're just going through some dynamic ways to mobilize and to stretch. Head to side, 10 times. Go for it. Keep going. Exhale, every time you twist. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. From here, reach your arms down towards the floor. Nice big breath in. Now take your hands behind you. If you have the flexibility in your shoulders, great. If not, you can just reach your arms heavy towards the floor and stay there. And then when you're ready, come into a nice, what we call, a pyramid reverse point. Pulling those arms over your head and stretching through the chest and through the shoulders. Hold it for five. Four, three, breathing, three, two, and one. Okay, good job. Bring your hands back towards your waist. Take your arm out, folding forward once more. Kind of just relax for a moment with your arms heavy, reaching down. Good, breathe in. As you breathe out, begin to roll through your spine. Curl yourself up, make your way to a stand. Good, so we've done some nice twisting. Now let's do a little lateral flexion. So, as you come back to your feet together, reach your arms up towards the sky, and reach over to one side. Good. And I'm creating that space through the intercostals, through your ribs, and down through that nice side body, reaching up, and over. Some of the things we want to remember when we do this exercise is just to keep glutes slightly engaged and pushing forward, as well as bending as far as it feels accessible. One of our principles is to always do your best. Three, two, lateral flexion, especially if you've been sitting too long on your screens. Really good to keep your spine mobile. Cool. And last one from here, just take your arms kind of by your side and we're just going twisting. Exhale every time you twist and see if you can bring your tummy, bring your, your belly further in to make this a bit of an exercise for your transverse abdominals. Five, four, for three, two, one. Okay, good. Shake it off. Now a little bit of cardio. So start jumping. Just jump up and down, up and down, up and down. What we're doing is we're starting to get our lymphatic system going. If you have necklaces, take them off. If you're starting to get hot, take it off. And we're bouncing. Two, just let your arms relax and just jump up and down. This is a terrific way to activate the lymphatic system, which is activated by what's called rebounding. Rebounding is when you go up and down. You can even just go heels up, heels up, down. Bouncing, more fun. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce. If you want to add more, you start to jack, jumping jacks. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, kids, go, come on. For ten, nine, I see you. Come on, don't get lazy. For five, for four. Come on, guys. For three, we should do this for at least one full minute. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Jumping jacks, jumping jacks. Go, 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 go. It's fun. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. Okay. So we've turned on the heart and we're starting to get our lymphatic system going. All really, really important for your health. So, starting to feel your heart rate going a bit. Starting to feel a little bit warm. We've warmed up the spine. We've warmed up our hips through some squatting. And this is a really good way to start before you do any of the other physical exertion from our Tame Your Body program, just to warm up. So we've done a lot of the warm up now for our hips, knees and ankles, our spine, a little bit for the scapula, and then we'll be on for our first round of strengthening. So for scapula warm up, one of my favorites comes from the Igasku method. We're gonna take our hands, find claw, open fist, open claw. Okay, keep your claw hands, take your arms out towards either sides of the room, Okay, we're gonna face camera and then circle faster. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can have your knees kind of soft, toes a little bit turned in, so you're nicely balancing your pelvis. And you're good. Let's go for at least 40, 30 or 40, both directions. Two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, other direction, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Your arm is shake. Shake, shake, and shake. Okay. This is <laughs> a bit of our warm-up from Tame Your Body home workouts. Make sure when you're doing these exercises to breathe, as well as do your best, and always listen to your body. All right, guys, for this and more, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, click down, subscribe for more fun workouts from Coach Tamer. Look forward to seeing you guys again on our next video. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Welcome back to video two from our Tame Your Body Home program. This is a fun one that we are going to use our anti-gravity hammock for. Let's go. So before we start with our hammock, always for safety, you need to make sure it's measured properly to your hips. So stand behind your hammock, grab with your hands. And make sure it's just about, if you give it a little tension with your hands wider than your hip bones, wider than your hip bones, you should feel the hammock at your hip crease. Okay, so now that we have our hammock measured in, you gotta make sure you use the, the rigging equipment and your Harrison hammock as the official equipment that we use and our affiliate program uh, as I'm a master trainer for this technique. So again, get your right equipment and make sure it's measured safely. And then you go up one more, and now I'm ready. Okay, to start, we're gonna learn a few exercises for your core. So, stand in front of your hammock, bring yourself to the front of your mat, it should be three steps forward, and we're gonna do that same squat we did earlier, so just squat down. Good, but this time from squat, put your hands to the floor, and reach your right ankle inside. So you want to find the hammock wrapping at your ankle. Good. Once you have the hammock at your ankle, follow me, bring your knee down to the floor and start on your forearms. We're gonna learn what we call forearm plank. On the count of three, bring both of your ankles into the hammock and hold. Do your best for one minute. Ready, go. Holding. Breathe. Okay, for this exercise to be effective, you want to squeeze your bum, suck in your tummy, and keep your shoulders pushing away from the mat. Good. If you find it's too much in your low back, please modify by bending your knees to be safe. Listen to your body. If you don't have a hammock, that's okay too. Same exercise you can do with a chair. So you have a chair, okay? For all my friends who don't have hammocks, same, same, get a chair, and we're going for what we call a decline plank. Bring your feet under the chair, bring your forearms down, and kind of the same thing. A hammock is obviously the best option if you have, 
but the chair also works pretty good as well. Thumbs under, squeeze your glutes, and we're holding. Good. The decline position makes it a little bit more strong for your core. So if it's too much, you can always bring your feet down to the mat and work your plank from here. Forearm plank. Breathing. Three, two, good. Has it been one minute? Oh no, okay, 10 more seconds. Come on, 10, nine, eight, come on. Come on, hold it, five, four, three, two, okay. Come to child's pose, or if you're using your hammock, come to alligator pose. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. We have 10 more seconds of rest for round one. Let's get ready for round two. Okay, this time, bring yourself closer to your plumb line, close to the anchor points on the ceiling. Increase the resistance. You can have your hands together or your hands out, and let's get started. Are you ready? Say yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> In three, two, one, let's go. Hold it. One minute, hold. Squeeze your glutes and keep your belly up and pulling in. Breathe. Come on, do your best. If you want to get stronger today, then say, I am strong. Okay, good. Hold it. Come on, come on, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, come on, 2, 2, one last push, 2, it's the last one that always counts, okay, one knee goes down and we take a little rest, breathing in, that's round two. We have three rounds. We have one more to go. We're using one of our principles from our Tame Your Body program called Time Under Tension. Time Under Tension means we hold an exercise for a certain amount of time and then we rest in between. Let's go one more time. Are you ready? Say yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Last round. This time we're going to add some crunches. Hands together or Shoulders width apart, both ankles are in the, and what we call the reverse ankle trap, and we're crunching it. One, come on, two, all the way, one minute. Use control, keep your hips up, and go. Squeeze, every time you go out, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze, squeeze, good job. 10, nine, come on. Here for time under tension. One minute. One minute, guys. Go, go, go. Three, two, one. Hold it. Five, four, three, two. Okay. Come to child's pose and take a rest. Oh, good job. Breathe in. Chi, inhale, breathe out, Tu Chi, exhale, good, from there, after we've taken 20 seconds rest, you can use your hammock to come to a stand, if you have it available, or you can push off the floor to stand, reground yourself, and check with how you feel, Woo. stronger core. Reach your arms overhead. Come always back to why we want to get stronger. Keeping our mind-body connection through every exercise. Breathe into your heart and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, and shake, shake, shake. All right. Welcome to some of our core exercises from our Tame Your Body program. Again, you can use the mat. If you don't have equipment, you can use a chair or some stool if you have that available. And or ideally, you have access to an anti-gravity hammock that you can do this 
workout from. For this and more, thanks for watching. Check out the next video in our Tame Your Body YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys there. Woohoo! Okay, welcome back. I had to put a shirt on, too sweaty. <laughs> Blew off a little bit, and I named life t shirts. Woo! Alright, so we've done some warm up. Alright, so we're starting over from the top. We've done our warm up, our tame life, tame your body warm up. Then we've done our core, okay? So now that we've done some warm up, we've done some core, let's go a little bit stronger, shall we? Say yes! Yes! Okay, so find your mat. You step to the front of your mat, wherever you are, find your, the front of your mat. Mm. And on the front of our mat, the first exercise we're going to learn is bringing your, your hips down to the floor. Good. We're going to sit on our mat and bring our hips down to the floor. All right. From here, lift up through your chest, lift up through your head, reach your arms in front of you and lower your shoulders just a little bit. Keep pushing down with your feet. Good. Bring your belly in, and we're gonna go for the hundreds. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now use your breath a little bit as you do this, beating your arms, keeping your chest up. You can lower your shoulders more to make it harder, or get your chest up to be easier. You can also bring your feet underneath something to hold your feet down, or have your friend hold it for you. Almost there, keep going all the way to 100, come on. So what we're doing as we do this is we're inhaling with our nose for five counts and we're exhaling with our mouth for five counts. Keep your belly engaged, keep your, your bum squeezed. Almost there for five, four, Three, two, and one. Good job. We're gonna just roll ourselves up and down. A little bit of just rocking your spine up and down. If you can find that that's successful for you, great. If that's too much on your lumbar spine, just stay in a happy baby pose and let's go from side to side. Just side to side, basic moves here getting ourselves not only stronger, but more mobile. Mobility is key. Okay, that's the first exercise for our core. Our next one, sit up tall. Keep your chest up. See if you can pull your tummy in. Pull in your tummy. Stay off your screen. Put your phone down. Yes, we'll get to watch our sports later, Tyler. Put your screen down. These are my kids I'm talking to through this video. Now, roll it through your spine this time, but now straight your legs forward. We're going scissors. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Vigorously make your legs go up, down, up, down. Keep your chest up, keep your shoulders back, and chin slightly nodding towards the chest. Arms are reaching forward. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three. Come on, come on. Jayo. One, two, three. That means make it harder. You can do it. Come on. For five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Rock up, rock down, rock side. Two side. All right. 20 seconds rest. Are you breathing? In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. One more time. Through the nose, out through the mouth. Good job. All right. So we've done our what's called hundreds. Comes from Matt Pilates. We've done scissors. Another move from Matt Pilates. Now we're going to go for one more exercise for our second video for core strengthening. 
Okay. Are you okay? Say yes. Yes. Okay, great. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Guys, you're doing great. Come on. One more round. Let's get started. So, this time, find yourself in the same position. Okay, and we're going to do some obliques. Clasp your hands together. Lower your toes, and we're going side to side. One, two, three. Use your exhale as you go side to side. Side, side. Lower your shoulders more to make it harder. Come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Exhale. stronger today. Remember why you want to be stronger today. Physically active, healthy life. Live a physically active, fun, and healthy life. That's right. Take a nice big breath into your heart and just let it go. Ah. All right, stand yourself up. Very good. Okay, check, check. Wipe your sweat. And that is our mat based core exercise from our Tame Your Body program. All you need is a mat and a connection to your breathing and the intention to want to get physically active today. For this and more, make sure you keep watching our Tame Your Body channel. Click subscribe if not already. Looking forward to seeing you guys in our next video. See you there. Woo. Okay, you guys, welcome back. Coach Tame here from our home workout studio. Right now I'm in a place called Taijong, Taiwan. It's really nice here. <laughs> and today we've been learning some fun exercises to get stronger, both within our core, within our legs, and our arms. Now that we've done some fun warm-ups, we've done our breathing, and we've done some core work with or without your hammock, the next fun exercise we're gonna do today is some animal game stretching. Let's go. Standing on your mat, the first exercise or animal we want to learn today is called the frog. So bring your hands towards your chest, bend your knees, and come all the way down into frog. Breathe in, breathe in. <laughs> frog is a great stretch to open up your hips and it's nice flexion for the knee joints. Some frogs we can bounce, a little froggy bounces, bounce, 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 bounce. And frogs should also be aware of your knees. Be careful of your knees. Good. Now, adding on to make it harder, we go up, jump, and frog, up, jump, frog, jump, frog, frog jump. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, QQ. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, yeah, those are called frog jumps. From frog, our next fun animal is called the monkey. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
So stand to the side of your mat. And from frog, you learn frog, now bring your hands to the floor. From hands to the floor, this one we want to move a little bit. So we're gonna bring your hands to the floor and move your feet. Hands to the floor, move your feet. Let's go again. Hands to the floor, move your feet. Hands to the floor, lift your feet up, move your feet. All the way moving. If you have access to some space, it's a great exercise to do for some movement. Hands to the floor, move your feet. Once you start to progress, you can start to lift your hips up over your shoulders and make it kind of like a handstand. Hands to the floor, move your feet. One more time. It's a dynamic floor movement of monkey crawl. Hands to the floor, move your feet. Hands to the floor, move your feet. Good, monkey crawl. All right. Now that we've learned the monkey crawl, the next one we want to learn is the dragon wings. So find your dragon wings. We're gonna go like you're breathing fire. Inhale, exhale, dragon wings. Good, now dragon wings from side to side. Dragon, wing. dragon, dragon, be it. Be fearless like a dragon. Keep going, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so we've learned our frog and our frog jumps, our monkey crawl, and now we've learned dragon wings. The next fun exercise we get to learn is it's from yoga and it's called the cat cow. Really fun. So find yourself on your mat in a position. This is called tabletop with your shoulders over your wrists, put your toes under, and reach your chest down. It's called cow, moo. From cow, round your back, pull your belly in, and come to cat. 10 times, cow, and cat. <laughs> cow, and cat. Good, okay. If you have a hammock, we can do the same exercise using our hammock. Let's go. Just grab with your hands, feet, hips apart, lean forward, push the hammock in front of you, and bend your knees, bring your chest down. Cow, moo, cat, meow. Okay, 10 times, cow, this is great for your spine. And cat. Good. One cow. And cat. And cow. Good job, you guys. And come up to a stand. Rolling up through a cat to a stand. If you don't have your hammock and you're doing the cat cow exercise on the floor, the next pose you learn is called the dog. Or in yoga, Downward facing dog. So let's do it. Tuck your toes under, lift up your bum, push into the floor, reach long with your spine, feel your hips pulling back as you push the palms and the feet down. Good, find down dog. Breathe in, CT, inhale, breathe out, Tu Chi. Exhale. From down dog, bring your weight over your hands. Your arms are straight. This is called plank. Okay, let's do some push ups, shall we? Say yes. Yes. Okay, let's go. Ready to go. One, two. Keep your elbows by your sides. Go. One, two. Keep going. Three, 
Forward, do your best to make it easier. Bring your knees to the floor. Come on, one minute. Time under tension. How many can you go? How many? Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Step yourself forward and roll your body up. Mm. So this video, we learn a few animal poses for getting stronger. The first one we learn is frog. The second one we learn is monkey. The third one we learn is dragon. The fourth one we learn is cow and cat. We can also use the hammock to do cow and cat. And lastly, we learn a good way to push yourself to be stronger, push-ups from plank. All right, guys, for this and more, make sure you follow our next fun home workout video in the videos below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for more Tame Your Body exercises here with Coach Tamer. Awesome, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video very soon. Okay guys, how are we feeling? Woo! If you've been following along for this series, we've now been doing exercise for about 30 minutes. Good job. 30 minutes is a great way to start getting yourself physically active. You might feel a little sweaty. That's okay. You can either, if, you're, if you can, if you feel comfortable, you can take off your shirt, wipe your sweat, and drink some water. I have a big jug of water. He shui. He shui. In Zhong Wen, or drink water. All right. So, we've learned breathing. We've learned mobilizing. We've learned core strengthening. We've learned some an fun animal games to get stronger. We've learned the importance of drinking water. Drink your water every day. Drink lots of water. Mm -hmm. And now, we're ready for the final rest of our Tame Your Body Home Workout Series 1. The final thing we're going to do is cool down. So, to cool down, sit on your mat front of your mat, have a nice sit, get tall, and now is a great time to come back to your intention. Let's breathe into our belly, and as you breathe out, feel yourself already stronger. And repeat after me, breathe in, and say, I, I am strong. Good. Say this out loud. Again, breathe in. Say, I, I am, am strong. Strong. Good. We want to do this at least 10 times every time we exercise to remember our mind-body connection in our class. Breathe in. Come on, say it like you mean. Say, I am strong. Back to your intention. Why you came to our workout today? Breathe in and breathe out. Nice. Breathe in and breathe out. Good job. Okay, friends, from here, we're going to start by lying on the mat. Just lie yourself flat on the floor. Hug your knees in toward your chest. And a really nice one for to release low back pain is what we call reclining spinal twist. So bring your knees to one side, push down into the thighs, turn your head the other way, and find that nice stretch down your back. We should be using breathing as we do this nice way to twist the spine. Good, feel your breath breathing into your belly. And breathing out for your twist. 
All right, let's go to the other side. Now, as you move your knees through the middle, take the knees down to the floor, push your other arm on top of your thigh, and turn. Good. Holding for five. Breathing in. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good one. Really nice. All right, let's bring our knees back up. We'll grab our toes, coming into our happy baby. A little side to side rocking, massaging out your low back after some of the exercises that we've been doing for our core today. Happy baby massaging side to side. Good job, friends. Very good. All right, from happy baby, after we've done a few rocks from side to side, let's take our leg forward, take our arms down, and give our body at least a few minutes of just breathing naturally into your belly as you inhale, out of your belly as you exhale. Now, stay there if you don't have a hammock and enjoy the resting. If you do have a hammock, climb in to the posture called cocoon. So we shake, shake, shake. We put our thumbs down. We stretch our arms out. And we gather six gathers. Six nice handfuls. Make sure you stand under the anchor point. Come up onto your toes. Slide into your pouch. For those of you who have done anti-gravity classes before or any aerial yoga classes before, you know that the last pose is always really enjoyable as you get to rest in your own cocoon. Knees can be straight or knees can be bent. And we're just giving our body a little time to reflect on our exercise. Giving your body some time to relax after our workout, to rest, and to bring back our mind-body connection by remembering our intention today. So close your eyes. Find a nice, comfortable position. Breathe into your heart. Breathe into your heart. As you breathe out, just let go of everything. Let go of your workout today. You did your best. Come to the present moment. Just right now. That's nice. Breathe in and relax. Take some quiet body time. Reconnect to ourselves to remember our intention and to give our body some rest. to awaken. If you're in a hammock, bring your feet slowly to the floor. If you're lying on your back, we're going to roll slowly onto one side. Push yourself up. Come back into a seated pose. To end our workout by saying thank you to ourselves. Remember, working out is an act of loving yourself. You love your body. So breathe into your heart and just remember your words. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am awesome. Alright, guys. Find yourself up to a stand. Be 
ground. Ah, just checking how you feel. Put your hands over your head. Bring your hands to your heart. Finish your class by saying thank you to yourself. Thank you to yourself. As you remember, your health is your wealth. Health is your wealth, guys. Remember it. Great way to live your life. Stay physically active, mentally awake, and inspired towards what you love. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Our uh, series of Your Body here from our home workout studio edition. <laughs> this is going to be something fun that I like to curate with you guys over the next while. While a lot of schools are still not in function and people are at home. So if you like these videos, you like working out with Coach Tamer, make sure you click like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, check out our live feed coming up on our Instagram platforms, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in our next workout. Bye-bye. Thank you.